In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to recenter the cursor axis and also how to reposition the origin pivot points of an object. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well if you're anything like me and you've accidentally selected this cursor um, select button here and move the cursor you want to get it back to the middle so there's a couple of ways the old way used to be holding down shift followed by C and this would reposition your uh, cursor but unfortunately it threw the view out or it throws the view out so let's move this again what I tend to do is hold down shift followed by S and then select cursor to world origin and this will place the cursor back to its original position without changing the um, view. So I've created this simple box with a little knob to go on the front of it just to show you a few options. Now at present the origin to this lid, if I press R is at this point here because this is just a cube I've cut diagonally okay now to recenter an origin if you come up to object and then set origin you can select origin to geometry and this will sort of put it as an average center point but again when I rotate it it does this so I want to rotate at this point here so I'm going to press 3 on my numbers pad to go into right hand view then tab to go into uh, edit mode so I'm going to select the edge select button up here this little button here and select this edge now I've hold down shift followed by S again and this time select cursor to selected and I'll go back into front view by pressing one on my numbers pad and then tab to go to object uh, mode and again select object set origin and this time origin to 3D cursor now if I rotate this it will rotate at this point here you can do um, you could do um, vertices as well if you wanted a couple of vertices um, say I could sort of select I don't know I could select this vertices here and vertices here if I for some strange reason wanted to place the origin where I haven't got um, any uh, line or faces but that's sort of basically how you do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna recenter the cursor again. Okay. Now this object here, and I've got this selected. I do it all the time, so I'm gonna recenter again. Make sure this isn't selected. Okay. Now this. Uh, knob here has got the origin sort of in the middle so and I want to place it right on the very edge so I'm going to press tab again to go into edit mode alt a to deselect everything and I'm going to this time select my vertices up here roll my middle mouse and sort of recenter the view and I'm going to press Z and I'm going to select wireframe and then hold my left mouse button down and draw a box over these vertices here shift s cursor to selected tab to go into object mode then object set origin to 3d cursor I'm going to go back into solid view again I want to move this right to the middle of this 
face here. So I'm going to select the box again, tab, face, and select this face here, shift S, cursor to selected, tab to go into object mode, select the knob, and then shift S, and this time selection to cursor. Now if I want to rotate this object here with the lid, if I was to join them in this sort of way, so the lid first and then the knob, the origin would be here. So what you want to do is select your second object or the object that you don't want the origin to be um, set to and then select the next object by holding down shift and then press Control J you should find that the origin is where you want it to be okay let's recenter this axis cursor point again so to world okay and the only other thing I can show you sometimes you have to sort of try and work out where you want the origin to be I find sometimes this happens if you're working with a sort of an airplane's propeller or something like that and the only way you can do that is sort of eyeball it so what I'm going to do is just hold down shift A and next to mesh I'll bring in a circle press S to make the circle a lot bigger and freeze I'm going to select the move button and then I'm going to drag this down to here say so, so I want my origin to be here and I'm going to move it over to this point here so I've got an origin so this point here and this point here you can place this wherever you want now I could again select the box and then the circle and join them together but I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is select the circle press shift S and cursor to select it I'm going to select the box and then I'm going to select object set origin origin to cursor and now I can delete the circle select the box and my origin is where I want it to be and that really is sort of the basis of recentering cursors or repositioning origins there are other ways to do it um, some of them are quite highfalutin that's the way I do it um, and 99% of the time that is all you really need to know so hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers